Addressing homelessness in Jacksonville, city council members are looking to take the first steps toward dedicating consistent funding for the problem. The CEO of Changing Homelessness says that extra money could get hundreds of people off the streets every year. News for Jackson reporter Ann Maxwell explains where the funds would come from. It was a bipartisan conversation here today. Local lawmakers are looking to do something similar to what Miami does to fight homelessness, but to bring something like that here to Duval County, local lawmakers would first need to go through Tallahassee. According to Changing Homelessness, the number of people who are experiencing homelessness in Northeast Florida has dropped in recent years, but hundreds of people still live on the streets. Don Gilman, who is the CEO of Changing Homelessness, says adopting Miami-Dade County's model for funding support would make a big difference. We need some baseline of funding to know that if we start a program in October, we can still pay those people Next October, we if we have put people into housing, we can still, if we have guaranteed their rents for a certain amount of time, we can still pay those rents. In Miami, a 1% tax on patrons at well-to-do restaurants goes to the Miami-Dade County Homeless Trust, which is the lead agency administering funding to nonprofits and other entities helping those experiencing homelessness. The tax only applies to those dining at restaurants with liquor licenses that bring in at least $400,000 a year. So for every $100 spent, at such an establishment, $1 goes toward helping those in need. But Miami-Dade County has special permission from the state legislature to levy that tax. And city council members Jimmy Peluso and Michael Boylan want Jacksonville to have that opportunity too. 15% of any money is collected must go to domestic violence victims. It helps us with the unhoused issue that we have in our city, as well as those who are being victims of domestic violence. Gilman says the 1% tax could bring in $10 million a year in Duval County and create change that's transformational. If you wanted to move 10, 200 of the most vulnerable individuals living on the streets in Duval County, it would cost you about $5 million a year. We could move 200 people off the streets and know we would have enough money to continue them being stably housed for as long as they needed that support. And making these changes could be a long way away. First, the law would need to change at the state level. Then city council would need to approve such a tax. Reporting from downtown and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station.